Good morning, my name is Chama and this is The Frame. How's your week going? I mean, it's a Wednesday and I can tell you I'm already looking forward to Friday. You? What are your plans? We start today with an update to the leadership and journalist story. Um, we earlier reported that journalists from leadership newspapers were arrested and detained. These journalists, two of them have been arraigned before a high court judge in Abuja, Tony Amokwede and Chibuzo Ukaibe. They've been arraigned on a 10 count charge of forgery. This is because the presidency has denied the presidential, the seven point presidential directive they published on March 26th, saying it's a forgery. And we wish them well. Still on the presidency, Mr. President has denied reports that he's setting up a 21 man committee to look into his options of contesting for elections in 2015. He says that these reports are false and people should stick to saying things that they know and are sure of. We agree with him, at least till we hear official reports that this committee has been constituted. Moving on to party politics, there's been a lot of grandstanding by members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, on the future of the party, especially as it concerns the elections in 2015. High-ranking members of the party have been quoted severally as saying that the party will take almost all the states in the, in the country come 2015. Governor Issa Yuguda of Bauchi State and Chief Tony Aneni, Chairman Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party, have been quoted as saying the party will take 32 and 36 out of the 32 and 35 out of the 36 states in the Federation in 2015. Chief Tony Anenu has also been quoted as saying that the PDP will do what it knows best in the elections of 2015. And we wonder, what does the PDP know how to do best? And should we be worried? Moving on, the IRA Consultative Forum and the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria have called on the movement for the emancipation of the Niger Delta not to carry out their threat of retaliating each time Boko Haram attacks. They said this because Ment sometime last week said that for each attack by Boko Haram, they will retaliate on mosques and Islamic clerics. We think that this will be just this will just be more bloodshed, more lives lost, and more property dis destroyed. And honestly, we don't need that now. And so we hope that Ment listens and desists from this planned attack. Finally, the the Comptroller General of the Nigerian Prison Service, Mr. Zakari Ibrahim, has said that officers posted to the north, northern part of Nigeria, who reject their postings, will be dismissed immediately. This is because reports have emerged that officers of the Nigerian Prison Service, who have been posted to different states in the north, turn down these postings, citing insecurity and fear for their lives and property you know, on resuming at these posts. Who wouldn't be scared? And I wonder where this Comptroller General lives. These stories and more can be found on Why Niger 2015 today. And we urge you to have a read, be informed, and make decisions based on factual and accurate information. And whatever you do today, be resourceful, be fruitful, and please be safe. My name is Choma, and this is The Frame.